In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can simulate an RGB LED with Arduino on Tinkercad, so on the online simulation named Tinkercad. So first, uh, go to tinkercad.com and if you need to, create a new account so you can easily sign up, okay, just uh, sign up and then sign in to your account, you will get to this and then on the left menu, go to circuits, okay, create new circuit. Okay, so we are going to need first an Arduino board, so you can type Arduino on the component list here. I'm going to select this Arduino Uno board here, and then a breadboard. So let's use the breadboard small here, which is enough for what we want to do. And then we're going to need, so I'm going to take the LED RGB here, okay, LED RGB, and I'm going to put it on the breadboard. So the LED RGB, you can see we have red, cathode, blue, and green, okay? So this will correspond to the red color, this to the blue color, this to the green color, okay? And here we have cathode, so cathode means you are going to connect this to ground, okay? So I'm going to put this here on the breadboard. Each uh, leg is connected to a different line, as you can see here, okay? And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this cathode here to ground. So let's connect it here, ground, and let's select black color. Then I'm going to take some resistor. So resistor here, and I'm going to select 220 ohm resistor like this. Okay, so it should be red, red, and brown. I'm going to copy and paste so with Ctrl C, Ctrl V, okay, one time and two times. So now I have three resistors. And the three resistors, I'm going to connect them to the three uh, legs, okay, of the three colors for the LED. So one is connected to red and then blue and then green. All right. And note that for a real RGB LED, the uh, colors may be not in the same order, okay? But basically, if you are wrong about one color, you can just try and then modify the circuits if you see that you made a mistake, okay? So now the red, so you have one resistor, and then at the other side of the resistor, I'm going to connect this to pin number 11 here, okay? And I'm going to choose the color. So I'm not going to choose red, I'm going to choose orange, okay? Because red, usually is reserved for a power supply. And then blue, so the same. I'm going to connect this to another pin this time. And I'm going to put this blue so it's easier to uh, monitor and then green. So you don't have to choose the exact same color, okay? Just, uh, just make things easier, but that's it. Green, okay. Now the circuit is correct. I'm going to open the code, select uh, text, continue, and well, we don't need this, we don't need this, and we don't need this. I'm first going to create some define, okay, for the three uh, legs here. And as you will see in the code, basically how we are going to control this RGB LED is the exact same thing as if we control three different LEDs, okay? So if you already know how to control an LED, you will not have any problem following this code. So I'm going to name it RGB uh, red pin. Okay, this is pin number 11 and then define RGB. Um, we have blue pin, which is pin number 10. Define RGB green pin, which is pin number nine. Okay, and in the setup, I'm going to do pin mode with RGB red pin to output and then I'm going to do the same for blue and the same for green. Okay, just like we initialized the mode for the pin for three different LEDs. 
And now what I'm going to do as a first example is simply I'm going to make the LED blink, okay? First red and then blue and then green and then back to red, etc. So digital red with RGB red pin to high. And I'm also going to do digital right with the blue pin okay, to low, make sure it is low and digital right with the green uh, pin here to low. Then I'm going to do a delay of, let's say one second. And I'm going to just write this one more time. And instead of high, low, low, I'm going to do low, high, low. This time we're going to power on the blue. So change the color to blue, delay 1000. And once again, I'm going to do low, low, high to choose the green here, high to choose the green color and another delay 1000. Great. Let's run that code, start simulation, red, blue, green, red, blue and green you can stop the simulation so you can see we have the exact same code as uh, if we wanted to power on three different leds okay a red one a blue one a green one and just the result is that on the circuit everything is happening on the same led okay i'm going also to run in this rgb led so you can change the name of the tinkercad project uh, if you want to to make more sense and then well, so I'm going to make another example. I'm just going to remove all that. So now you can see uh, how you can choose the different colors. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that here. Okay, so I'm not going to use the loop. I'm simply going in the setup to initialize the mode for the pins, all right? And then to uh, change, to choose just one color, okay, for the run of the program. So you can decide to power on just one, to choose just one color, but you can also, I'm going to put high here and I'm going to start and you will see now the LED is purple. Why is that? Because we have powered on the red pin and the blue pin. So red and blue makes purple. Okay, that's the combination of colors. Okay, you can power on everything if you want to. And that's going to be white because the combination of all colors here is going to be white. Okay, so you can choose to just power one color or just a combination of two or the combination of three. And total, you have seven uh, combinations you can use with digital right. Okay, so what you can do now is test different combinations, use them in the void loop to make blink between different colors, etc. And one question now is this all you can do? which means seven different colors for the RGB LED. And actually, no, you can select many, many, many more colors. But to do that, you will have to use analog write function, not digital write. And to use analog write, so you will have 256 possibilities for each color, okay? So if you multiply 256 by 256 by 256, you have a lot of different colors you can use. And to be able to use analog write function, this is very important, you have to have digital pins with the PWM functionality. As you can see here, PWM, you can see that when you have a tilde. And that's exactly why I have chosen those three pins here, because they all have PWM functionality. Okay, on the Arduino we know you could also use the six, the five, and the three. Okay, so if you have a different board, make sure that you have PWM functionality or else the analog write will not work correctly. So I'm going to replace that and do analog write with the red first. Um, let's put 100. And I'm going to do analog write with the blue color with let's say 50 and analog write with the green color and let's put 200, okay? So any number between zero and 255, let's run that. Okay, and we have, so this is kind of green, but this is another color, okay? This is a color that corresponds to uh, red 100, blue 50, and green 200, okay? 
you can try any combination of uh, that. So let's say put uh, 40 here and 250 here, and you have a completely different color, okay? So if you want to find the specific color, you can just type on Google and find an RGB color website. There are many of those and you can get specific uh, colors you want here. And well, if you want to go further, what you can also do is, for example, in the void loop, you can make uh, with with time functionalities, okay, you can make the uh, different colors fade in and fade out. So you can create some nice effects, okay, with the uh, RGB LED. You can also create a function, okay, to regroup all of that. So the function will take three parameters, the red color, the blue color, the green color, and then you don't need to write that again when you want to change the color for the LED. You can also add, if you want, for example, potentiometers, buttons, etc., to modify directly the color when you interact with the circuit, etc., etc. And well, to recap, as you can see, uh, controlling an RGB LED is no more complicated than just controlling three different LEDs. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Arduino step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.